of clouds and sun with a passing shower, high 76 to 80. Sunday, mostly cloudy and breezy with showers and thunderstorms, mainly early, the high 76 to 80. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Thank you, Joe. 24 minutes before 8 o'clock. It's kind of overcast today. We've got some rain. We've got some good temperatures in the forecast. I guess you just heard him say that. And, yeah. uh, and uh, so far, no mention of any cold temperatures, although the long-term forecast for the New Year's Eve was mm-hmm. very cold, remember? Yes. So we'll see. We'll see if that prediction was right. All right, right now, let's let's talk about this for a second. I'm on Facebook frequently, mm-hmm. and uh, I think you maybe, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, a lot of you are out there, and, and I know this because you write us at WCA, you write me on mine, and, uh, and most of those who contact me are not very young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I have some on my friend list who are like nieces and nephews, and mm-hmm. um, but, but even my son, my son is twenty seven. He doesn't do a whole lot with Facebook. He's got a Facebook presence, yeah, but it, he's not there. Uh, yeah. and in fact, he's I, I don't know. He's probably not involved with any social site. I'm guessing. <laughs> I, I don't really know. He's busy. And, and don't ask me why I am. I, I became hooked on it for some reason, and I enjoy. You know what I enjoy about Facebook? I enjoy reading. Um, what's going on in the lives of people who I have not neglected, but what's a good word, uh, drifted from, mm-hmm. you know, the people I don't, you know, I wouldn't really be keeping up with them if it wasn't for Facebook. I mean, these yeah. are some people that I went to school with when I was a child. Yeah. Right. You have yeah. the same thing. You have some, some people on your Facebook friends that you literally went to elementary school with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then, you know, you move away, and, and, and they move away, right. and, and you don't see them or are, are in contact with them anymore because life moves forward. So I've got a handful on, on my uh, site that are, that are like <laughs> that. But the point is, they're not young. They're our age. And, yeah. And, and while there are some young ones on there, there is an, uh, an obvious trend, I guess, that the, the site was originally uh occupied by younger people mm-hmm. and then slowly became more for the older people yeah and and I, and I know we've got some 20 somethings on there and and you know and there's nothing nobody's saying you can't be there if you're young sure I don't want to scare anybody away oh, but anyway no. so teens yeah. are not necessarily there, there on Facebook some of them are but they're they're heading elsewhere so so I have an article here uh, and this is what we have to tell you about. The biggest decline in active usage by 52% was in the Netherlands of teenagers using Facebook. Okay. Okay. There was a 16% fall for American teens. So not that bad. 16% of Americans who were using, American teenagers who were using Facebook are no longer doing it. The Netherlands lost 52% of their teens. And I'm going to tell you where they're going instead of Facebook. Um, most of them are going, I guess I'll just cut to the chase rather than reading all these different countries. Uh, mobile chat services are becoming the popular thing on the, on the air, the, the smartphones. Mm-hmm. Now, there, is, there are apps for Facebook, so you could do this with Facebook as well. Uh, but there's one called WeChat, and it is, it is the big winner. Oh, that's over Twitter? For the kids, WeChat. WeChat is that a Twitter thing? I don't no, know. No, I'm I'm uh, I'm asking if this is the oh, big thing I see over what you're Twitter because there's a Twitter. Oh, and I now see. there's now you're telling me yes, WeChat. It's, it's way over Twitter. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, we WeChat is the big winner, mm-hmm. and I don't know that I've ever even heard of WeChat, but there it is. It's it's the one that most of the teens are going to. Oh, okay. Is it like Twitter? I don't know. I've never seen Where it. You're I'm, tr- I'm trying to see if it says anything on here. Um, does it? Doesn't really say. And I was, you know, what I was going to guess. I was not mm. going to guess Twitter. I was going to guess the uh, Snapchat. We had that a couple oh, like, yeah. last week or so. Oh, with, with the photographs, right? And then what's the other photograph one? To Insta- Insta- In- Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. yeah. I thought that yeah. those would be the big ones. But anyway, you're going to be surprised what number three is. You're going to be very surprised. Wow. What number three is? Uh, WeChat is number one. Okay. Vine which is another mobile app, is number two. Okay. Okay. Now, you are a member of number three. Really? What do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. It's it? Flickr. Oh. It's Flickr. It's the mobile app for Flickr. Now, now you've oh. used Flickr forever because you're a photographer. Yeah. And so you put your photography on Flickr, and then mm. you say... Larry, I got some new pictures for you to look at. <laughs> and then I go to Flickr and I see these nice photographs that you take and I go to Flickr. Well, I don't know about the mobile app part of it, but the number three, I should have gone in backwards order, but not, and anyway, anyway, so number one is WeChat, number two is Vine, number three is Flickr, the mobile app. 
Wow. Number four, I, I suppose this is not surprising, Skype. Uh-huh. Skype. This is the web page that's now a mobile app. Really? Where, where, yes, where you can chat with people and look at them and talk to them. And uh, they say it'll be on watches soon, which makes Dick Tracy come true. Oh, yeah. But you can't be driving when you're doing Skype. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be looking at unless the face is in your windshield as you're driving forward. <laughs> you know, that's the next advancement technology. So, the, you know, in the past, if somebody were to, were to look at their wrist, you, you automatically thought they were they had an appointment or something, right? Yeah, with the wristwatch. Yeah, they say, oh, well, you're looking the at time. the time. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. well, I'm, you probably got to go. Okay, I'll let you go. And, you know, mm-hmm. looking at the wrist was always an interesting thing. And I don't wear a wristwatch, so. Mm-hmm. But I might wear a Skype watch. <laughs> so I'll be looking at my wrist and, who's calling you? Oh, I don't know, but she looks pretty nice. <laughs> I'll be right with you, baby. <laughs> As I look at my wrist. And you wonder why they're veering away from the phone to put Skype in the phone, you know? Okay, now here's here's an interesting thing. Now somebody maybe can explain this to me, and maybe even you, Robin, know this one. While Facebook is being... Um, Abandoned by teenagers. Mm -hmm. Facebook Messenger is the number one, two, three, four, number five place that the kids are going to. The teenagers are going to Facebook Messenger. Oh, because that's instant. On on the uh, mobile apps. Yeah, that's instant. So I don't know what that is exactly. Was that just chatting, really, in a way? Yeah, because you can turn it on or off if you're on Facebook, and then all of a sudden this little thing pops up on the bottom. Somebody sees you're on Facebook, and that's that's the messenger part. Okay, so so far of the ones we've mentioned, I've never heard of WeChat. I've never heard of Vine. Mm-mm. Is WeChat W E? Is that W E? Okay. Yeah, WeChat. I didn't know if it was fancy or not, <laughs> like O U I. Right. Ooh, WeChat. Yeah. Ooh, we WeChat. <laughs> that, that might be a totally different thing. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> of course, that shows my age too. If I'm saying that, for, mm-hmm. for those who remember the magazine called We. That's right. <laughs> Uh, which I don't think I ever looked at one time. <laughs> Insta- make a comeback. Instagram, one, two, three, four. four. Instagram is number six uh-huh. on the list. Uh, Foursquare is number seven. Have you ever heard of Foursquare? Yes, I have. I've heard of it, but I don't participate. Shazam is number eight. Oh, okay. And by the way... Facebook Messenger, Instagram, Foursquare, and Shazam, as well as the next one, WhatsApp, they're all kind of tied for the, really, the, that's, they've got between 85 and 86% of the market. That's, wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, and Twitter's not even on there. Not yet. It is on here. But it's way down the uh, list. Google Plus follows WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Uh, YouTube, believe it or not, the mobile app for YouTube is uh, also where teens are going. Yeah, YouTube is still the best if you want to just see movies LinkedIn, another one that some of my adult friends, my older friends are using a lot because I get these messages. Somebody has endorsed your talent on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody says you're a mighty fine cook, Larry. <laughs> Somebody says you're mighty fine with, with your talents. I would say, would, and then it says, would you like to endorse their talents? <laughs> sure. Why not? You click on the thing. What are their talents? Oh, I, I never knew he was a professional boxer. Oh, well, sure. Sure, <laughs> He's I'll gotta click. Be good. Sure, I'll click that. Sure, that's my old friend Jimmy. Who knew? Yeah, right. <laughs> Who knew he was boxing now? Twitter is after LinkedIn. The mobile app again. Almost all of these are the mobile apps. Uh, and Facebook mobile app is preferred to regular Facebook. So I'm a little confused by this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then after Facebook mobile app is the Reddit site. Reddit, R-E-D-D-I-T. Yeah, I've heard of that, too. Uh, Google Maps is very popular with the teens. Well, it's, it's down on the list. Badu. Have you ever heard of Badu? No, I never have. B-A-D-O-O? No, what is that? Uh, is it just like instant messaging people? I don't know. You want me to look it up? Or, uh, you talk and I'll look it Badu. up. Badu. Badu. <laughs> B-A-D-O-O. B-A-D-O-O. What is Badu? Yeah, I just think meet that's people on Badu. Oh, it's another. It's just another. Uh, oh, okay. Another. Uh, what do you social call it? Social site. Site. Yeah. Social oh, but you can site. sign up. Sign in with Facebook. When well, I, of when course. I clicked on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can sign in with Facebook for a lot of things. I mean, Facebook is like the hub of. I don't understand signing that, but in on yeah. different. You, you know, different previously things. blogged. Oh, you previously blocked Badu from Facebook. 
<laughs> okay, I'm not going <laughs> to unblock it, Dan. Dan probably did that. Oh, okay. Dan, Dan probably said, don't go to Badu. Maybe it's Badu. Yeah, maybe Badu. Badu. All right, I want to unblock it. So. Badu. <laughs> All right, the next one is uh, OV Maps, OVI Maps. Okay, don't know um, that. And then MySpace, which used to be number one. Yeah, but then it really got a glitch in it, and like it, it took forever for the page to load and everything. I mean, I think that was the uh, uh, in, uh, incarnation of like Facebook and and all these other sites. Whatever was wrong with that site, every uh, all of the glitches were corrected to make everything else smoother. All right, now, Don't you think for MySpace? Oh, MySpace yeah, I hate it. I, I used to like it, and then I hated it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tumblr is the last one on the list. And I want to go back to the number one, which is WeChat, because there's okay. an interesting thing about WeChat. Okay. Um, how is WeChat capitalizing on its popularity with teenage users? One way is by setting up physical vending machines selling soft drinks. Okay. It's all part of a broader experiment by Tencent, which is the company that made it, to set up a payment mechanism within WeChat. Tencent partner Ubox recently <laughs> set up 300 WeChat vending machines in Beijing's subway stations where WeChat users could get discounted drinks by paying with their chat app. Oh, so That's rather, fascinating. So rather than putting coins or dollars into the vending machine, mm -hmm. you pay with virtual money using your WeChat. Which is like that Bitcoin. Oh, and we got a Bitcoin thing, story right? later on in our, in our news oh, bites. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is fascinating. Because there's, there, was, there was another theft, and it's a doggone, doggone. Oh. You know, dog, go, dog, no, dog, D O G E. Do you know, okay. dog? No, I don't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so far behind. It's I'm another old. virtual currency, <laughs> do, dog, D O G E. I'm still on AOL. <laughs> <laughs> it's D O G E. I guess it's pronounced dog. Oh, okay. Because it's got a picture of a dog on it. It's like a southern, southern dog. <laughs> but it's a currency. Well, I don't oh, have that okay. in front of me. That's, That's fascinating. If you want to hear about that, Robin or one of us will have, I think I put it in your pile. WeChat. But WeChat. <laughs> Number one is WeChat. <laughs> all right. Now, all the old people, stay away from it. Let the kids have their place. Yeah. I'm not going to sign up for WeChat. This is something for the kids. Let, let them have it. Because, you know, we kind of we kind of infiltrated their new, their uh, Facebook thing. Yeah. But we exactly. needed something. We didn't have anything. Well, sure. Now we've got Facebook. Let them have WeChat. Let, the kids can still have Facebook, too. I like when the kids write me now and then. Yeah. Hello, yeah, Uncle Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes it nice. You know, I, 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 I like seeing what's with... <laughs> Well, Pinterest wasn't on that list, though, because that's for the old people, too. Oh, interesting Probably. observation. Pinterest. Yeah, I believe you're right. Yeah, I think Pinterest yeah, is not only for older folks, but I think women. Mostly. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And, and and if there's anybody yeah. who can give you information on social sites, the least likely people is Robin and I. So. <laughs> yeah, but we keep you abreast of the information of what's going on. I did <laughs> get I, up to date. I did stuff. get that from the internet, by the way. Yeah. So, with an article. All right. Let's push forward and uh, got some news to deliver to you. And then, of course, Galen Unald will be on the phone. Our topic with Galen is. Um, Oh, I've got some wacky businesses, um, weird businesses that were started by women. And, yeah, uh, I can't wait. And uh, so <laughs> if, you're, if you're thinking about starting your new year off being an entrepreneur, you might want to pick up on some of these ideas. There you go. All right, let's push forward and uh, then we'll be with Galen in just a few minutes. This is The Source, WOCA. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, your company supplier of banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Where you give them approved artwork by noon, the next day by 4 p.m., you pick up your banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. That's 368-2404. Don't forget, they do vehicle wraps also. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. Hi, Robin. You look tired. I am. I've been running all over town. Why? Why not drive? I need to get this stupid document notarized. Well, that's easy. You need personal service. Duh. That's what I've been looking for. You need to go see Mark at the Personal Service Center. He can notarize that for you, make copies, fax it wherever, or send it out in the mail. Heck, he can even scan it and email it for you. Really? Where is he at? 2375 Northeast 25th Avenue, on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street. You can call him at 789-6683. Personal Service Center. Thanks, Larry. 
Here are today's headlines from The Source, WOCA. A car crash took the lives of two men in Central Florida. One of the men killed is former Florida State football coach Bobby Bowden's grandson, according to a news release issued yesterday. Taylor Jeffrey Bowden, who was 23 years old, and the driver, 25-year-old Rafael Fernandez de Aguilar Vallum, died in the crash, according to the news release from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. A third man in the crash, identified as 22-year-old Robert Louis Edwards, was rescued after spending hours in water up to his neck. A trash collector reported the submerged car at 7.47 a.m. The Mitsubishi was not very visible from the road, but the Florida refuse truck was high enough to allow the worker to see it. The front end of the car was completely submerged, while part of the back end was sticking up out of the water. More than three hours later, dive team members in the water heard noises coming from in the car. They were able to communicate with Edwards, who said he was cold and needed help. After several minutes, Edwards Edwards was out of the water and he was being treated for hypothermia and other injuries at a hospital. The dive team then located the bodies of Bowden and Diagiar Valim. The details of the crash were being investigated and alcohol does appear to be a factor according to the report. An Oviedo woman is facing charges for lying during a 911 call, which police say diverted resources from a robbery investigation. 24-year-old Tiffany Welch called 911 Tuesday night and said a man was threatening her with a gun. Police responded to the call immediately, and some of the officers had to leave a very real robbery investigation. Oviedo Police Detective William Powell said that when officers arrived, it was clear the call was not legitimate. No one was at the house. Police finally got in contact with Welch, and they say she admitted her boyfriend owed a drug dealer money and she was afraid he was going to show up there with a gun. She was arrested and the person behind the real armed robbery at a nearby convenience store was never found. Welch was charged with two misdemeanor counts of misuse of a 911 system and obstructing an investigation. A bear crashed a Lake Mary family's Christmas and was all caught on camera. It was just the latest bear in a series of close encounters the past few weeks in Central Florida. The bear was caught breaking into the back patio of a home on Redwood Grove Terrace in Lake Mary in search for a late night snack. At first, Tremaine Gaines thought there was a burglar breaking into his house, but then he saw the bear pressed up against the sliding patio door. Gaines told reporters the bear came through his screen and headed straight for a pot filled with turkey oil. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Life Conservation Commission said bears can smell food from a mile away and will eat almost anything as they pack on extra calories before the winter. Gaines said it'll take a couple of hundred dollars to fix the damage, but that is a cheap price to pay for a lesson learned. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission said it is important to lock up not only your food, but also your pet's food. Make sure to take out your trash the morning of pickup instead of the night before. And PNC Financial Services Group agreed to pay $35 million to settle charges over allegations that the former National City Bank systematically overcharged black and Hispanic mortgage borrowers, according to a report from the Pittsburgh Business Times. The Department of Justice and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau alleged that between 2002 and 2008, more than 76,000 black and Hispanic borrowers paid higher costs because of National City's pricing and compensation scheme. The settlement, which requires